Hi, my name is Sophila and I've always wondered what the future is going to look like. And this place is exactly how I imagine it to be. Clean, quiet and full of new technology. But of course, there are some things that worry me. Like, how do we know that robots are safe? What will I be when I grow up when robots are taking over our jobs? Luckily, I know someone who knows a bit more about the future than I do. Hello, Tofela. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you know where we are? No, not really. Yeah, I notice you're getting looking a bit lost. Well, this place is what we call a model factory. Yes. It's called a model factory because we put these machines here to demonstrate to companies in the manufacturing sector how they can use these machines to okay. improve their productivity and to use automation, what we call Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0, what does that mean? Well, in Industry 4.0, it means we're connecting machines together. Mm -hmm. um, think of it as having all the ovens in your house talking to each other. In Industry 4.0, all the separate machines, like the separate ovens, will be connected together so that information from one machine can pass on to the next machine. And through this interconnection, we can collect good data, we can make better decisions, uh, we can also control them remotely. So now, if you have Industry 4.0, you can ha actually have all the machines just like connecting all the ovens together and you can maybe before you get home, press the iPad and you can start cooking your dinner. Are you worried about your job taken over by AI or technology? Well, I think there are still things that, uh, that you need a human to do. The robot can repeat actions repeatedly, but they can't quite build a team they can't quite get people to sit down and brainstorm ideas to come up with um, you know, solutions to a complex problem. So, so no, I'm not concerned that my job will be replaced by a robot or AI, but I think what's important is that for all of us to be well equipped with the knowledge and the skills so that we can use these tools, AI or robots as a tool, to make our jobs better. Uh, let me check with you, are you good at using iPads? Yes. Yeah, so when you started using iPads, do you remember having to read the instruction booklet before you use the iPad? No. Well, in many ways, uh, technology is like this. A lot of people, they are a little bit afraid of technology sometimes because they look at the machine, it looks very complicated. Maybe they think it's too expensive in case they break it. And a lot of people think that technology is something that they are afraid to adopt and try. I'm confident that your generation of young people actually are very technologically savvy. And I think this is the strength of our next generation. Um, that was really good to hear. So about this um, whole coronavirus thing, um, can the technology help it? Certainly. We are using some of the research that we have done here in ASTAR to actually help tackle this problem because of the good research foundation we have here. Use their knowledge to come up with a test kit that is now being used in hospitals so they can also start testing patients with possible infection. The other thing we can do is using our research capability to work on a possible vaccine so the next generation of people will not be affected by this virus so much. The future is yet to be written. Using your creativity, your innovation and your fighting spirit, I'm sure the future for Singaporean young people like yourselves will be very bright indeed. Thank you so Thank much. You.